45 past 9, so we'll start the session. Shall I invite all of the panel speakers onto the stage, please? Ala, Martin, Philip. And some of them are on the stage and some of them are still to come. Hopefully they will join us. So warm welcome again on the second day of the IGF. So thanks also to the future of the internet. So myself, I am Dr. Satya Rao coming from uh, Switzerland, leading a project called Six Choice. It is the project between European Union and India. So that is what I will be speaking about as well. And I will be chairing this session to moderate. And we will be finishing our presentation by say one hour or so, then we'll have some time for discussion to be make sure that we'll get all the opinion from your side, what are the major issues identified as such. For the first speaker of the day proposed was uh, Dr. Govind from DIT. He's still not arrived, so I will switch on to the my presentation, which will give an overview, and then we'll move it to the European Commission presentation he could not come personally himself, the director of the networking infrastructure from the European Commission, but he has sent us the video, so I'll be presenting that one, and the, then the, I'll request all other speakers to say 10 minutes of presentation, then we'll open up questions later on. So, are there any comments from the speakers? Is all right that way? Okay, then we'll introduce speakers individually later on. Is it okay from the, your side? Can we start? For distribution side, is okay? Doesn't end? <laughs> okay. Okay, still delegates are coming in, so thank you for joining the session anyway. So just I will give you an introduction, why IPv6 now? What is driving and how the European and Indian initiatives are helping to promote IPv6? That is the main topic of the, my slides, not, uh, I don't take much time because of the time limits again as I told you already before. Just to go quickly into what is today, as you know already the internet is pervasive already with IPv4. I think all of you know today's protocol is called IPv4. So today everything has become E. The e-homes, e-life, e-business, e-government, e-logistics, etc., etc. So what we'll be looking for is actually what is in the future, how we go further from there on. Of course the Everybody looks around, all inclusive internet. Today is not all inclusive. What we are looking for is a digital life of the future. That is what we call the future internet. That is what we are working at. So what we are looking for in the future of the internet is the user empowerment. That means user can control what he would like to, how he would like to be participating in the social networking and to have no in-between privacy issues coming in. So peer-to-peer -peer communication is what he would like to have and also to provide the full services set, not one for data, one for voice, one for video, etc. The full set of services, end to end, peel to peel, etc., etc. That means we are heading towards the virtualized society. That is what we are looking forward. So, of course, IPv6, what we are talking today is not new. It is already since 20 years we are working on that one, at least it is already mature almost since five years of time. Of course, we also know IPv4 problems that we, first of all, Internet is becoming pervasive. It is well known even to the developing countries, even the African countries, they are, they are looking for the internet pervasiveness in their countries. But the first of all, foremost, there is a consensus, there is the addresses, what is available for IPv4 are not enough. Of course, there are few people who still support IPv4 only because today's network is working with private, with the private addressing schemes with all the problems which comes along, which we'll talk later on a bit. And then, of course, what is happening today, if you see, if you go to any shops, it is everything is a RFID tax coming along. 
So all the logistics are made on RFID 